Greetings from Havana. My name is Isora Enriquez O'Farril from Enrique Jose Barona University of Pedagogical Sciences in Cuba. The paper is about the development of research skills in the Cuban language teacher education program. So we'll first give an overview of teacher education in Cuba, then I will speak about English language teacher education program, its features in relation to the research component, good practices and tasks, and finally, new directions in relation to research skills. I think that we should start by defining what we understand by teacher education. It's the process that leads to the comprehensive formation of the teacher as a professional. And it involves not only experiences and teaching practice, but also the opportunities and activities that teachers develop to engage throughout their career during the initial teacher training and throughout their career, also by reflecting on it. The teacher education curriculum has four main components. The academic component that helps the trainees to learn the contents of the core and optional subject matters of the curriculum. The practical component that helps students, trainees, to develop pedagogical professional skills. The research component that helps the students to develop research skills. And the university component, university extension component, that facilitates students' involvement in different social, community, cultural, and sports activities. During COVID, this has been very relevant, the response of the students, of the teacher trainees in community and social work. So we think that our program has really done very well in enhancing moral and human values. The curriculum of the language teacher education program in Cuba has different subject matters. Philosophy and history, they provide the fundamentals, the dialectical fundamentals on the context of English language teaching and learning, as well as education in general. Pedagogy and psychology, they uh, provide, they refer to the learning and teaching theories. And these two areas are the same for all specialties. The specific subject matters in the case of English are integrated English practice that helps students, helps trainees to develop communicative competence. This is a very important subject because it helps trainees to develop the communicative skills they need to speak the language and to teach the language because the language is the content and the means through which this content is taught. Therefore, this discipline is very important. Linguistic studies. Linguistic studies is the discipline that helps trainees to go deeper into the system of the language through subjects such as phonetics and phonology, lexicology, grammar, and discourse analysis. So that this uh, discipline helps them also to enlarge their knowledge about the English language and from the theoretical point of view, and also it helps to develop, of course, their communicative competence. Besides, it gives the fundamentals for language teaching and learning from the linguistic point of view. 
History of Culture of the English-Speaking Peoples. This discipline offers the historical and cultural background of English language, and so it helps to develop their social cultural competence and also to develop intercultural communication because they are intended it's in they are intended to be intercultural communicators and english language pedagogy in our context we say didactics of foreign language education this is another core subject this is the leading subject because it's comprehensive nature. It, it, uh, it is present in the four or five years of the foreign language teacher education program in our universities. The contents in this discipline integrate theoretical, methodological, practical, and research areas of the curriculum for each, year, for each academic year of their pedagogical studies. So this is the core leading subject or discipline in our program. As you can see, English language teacher education pedagogy rests on four learning uh, principles or learning areas, or five learning areas. Citizenship, developmental pedagogy, communicative discursive practices, intercultural, intercultural studies, and reflective practice. Let's now move into the research component of the English language teacher education program. As you can see, the research component is guided by the idea that every teacher needs to be, and in fact is, a researcher. So it's important to introduce research into the training program. Why? Because trainees, as well as mentors they should have they should appreciate they should see the significance of research in regards to classroom practice so that the ideas and arguments must be carefully selected and integrated within a course and must be elicited informed critical evaluation it means that teachers should know that when they need to make changes in their activities, in their classroom practice. It should be based, it should be informed by research and the critical and the critical evaluation of the theory and the practice. Teachers need to develop then a never questioning attitude of one's own practice, leading to a better teaching and learning. Research skills are developed throughout the curriculum through the subject research methods within the discipline language pedagogy, generally with a project-based approach. So it goes through different, let's say, stages. The exploration of the reality in which the trainees observe, characterize the educational process in schools, then they identify a teaching learning process problem. They, based on that, they should design small scale research project. They should design a term paper, which is usually uh, done in third or fourth year, depending if the uh, major lasts four or five years. They should then conduct a research to be presented in a term paper or in a diploma paper and they should communicate results either as the results of the term paper or the diploma paper. Educational research, it's very important. Why? Because it helps trainee teachers to learn, to examine their practice critically, to identify problems and challenges, to derive new ideas, to solve the problems, to formulate, examine, and justify their views, drawing from theory to practice. So if we consider that teachers are researchers, 
are researchers of their own practice. They need to be trained to examine that practice critically so as to identify the problems they are facing, how they can solve those problems, how they should consult the theoretical uh, problems, the theoretical ideas, the theory that can help them find solutions from the theoretical point of view so as to substantiate the changes that they are suggesting or that they are going to suggest. The research cycle generally follows these steps. First, identifying a research topic. After that, of course, trainees need to review the literature to see what's the, uh, the state of the arts in the topic that they have selected. They design a research study, they conduct the research, and of course, they need to continue reviewing the literature, finding theory to substantiate what they are doing, but at the same time, they need to collect data using different types of methods. After they have the data, they have to analyze the data, get to conclusions, and present the results. So as to write their papers, either the term paper or the diploma paper, to present it orally and in writing. And then the cycle starts again. They should implement in classroom practice what the, the new proposal and of course, observe the changes. As you can see, this is a more, a, a more traditional cycle than the one we want to get as the years develop. Right? And we will see that at the end, I, we think that we should gradually move into a more action research cycle. Here I am presenting examples of the students' papers. So, as you can see, they have to present the, pa the papers in a formal uh, format. In a, so, they have a, a mentor, an advisor, we, we call them advisors. In Spanish, we say tutor, but in English, we usually say advisors that guides them to, uh, throughout their research. The examples are in English and French because in some of the, of the universities, we have English as a first foreign language and French as a second foreign language, but we have that in only six universities. Throughout the studies, throughout the, the development of the curriculum, we design different teaching learning tasks. These tasks are designed as integrated, communicative, professionally oriented tasks, so as to foster language practice, teaching and research skills. In that way, we contribute to the main curriculum components that I've referred to earlier in this presentation. So among the tasks, we can mention the thesis workshops in collaboration, trainees practice, rehearse their research presentation, they give and receive feedback. Another activity or another task is what we call students' conferences. So students, every, uh, once a year, the, uh, uni the faculties organize a students' conference and the students present their, their results of their research, either as part of the uh, curriculum, in the case of the term paper and the diploma paper, or extracurricular research works that they can do mainly in first and second year. Another task is poster presentations, also oral presentation, and creating students' magazines. We are going to uh, refer to two of them. First, poster presentations. We have a number of procedures 
we usually devote two hours for the poster presentation. The students display the posters around the class, so the, the, the room needs to be uh, arranged in a way to facilitate walking around the room. Students are grouped into judging teams and audience so that they walk around the room, take down notes for further questions, and all students must have the opportunity to play the roles of judges and audience. Finally, at the end of the activity, the teacher guides the, the trainees to reflect on the activity and give feedback. Here we have some uh, photos of poster presentations. So you can see students and teachers get together, they present their, uh, their posters, the results of their research in, the, in a posters as if, if they were in a conference. In these examples that we're presenting here, we have a teacher uh, lecturer from Glendon College in Canada, who was a guest visitor then uh, in our in our university, and he was exchanging with uh, with the students together with the students from Glendon College. That was a very interesting activity that year, and throughout the years, this is very interesting. The students get really involved in preparing their posters creatively. Another creative activity is students' magazines. So as you can see, creatively, students gather in groups, usually five or four students get together, they find a name for the magazine, they can, find, they can organize the magazine in different, let's say, sections, but it's compulsory to have a section on global issues and a section for presenting the results of their research in a short scientific article. So each student, each member of the, of the team that he's preparing the magazine needs to present a scientific article. Here we have another example. Of a, of a magazine, of a student's magazine. As you see, also, we should also explain that the different subjects should be included. For example, history of the English speaking countries is represented here by this uh, article or text about Nelson Mandela. And the, the uh, scientific research of the student is presented in this idea by uh, teaching with Opal. So these are examples of how we develop students' research skills. For the future, well, we think that we need to strengthen the dialogue between theory and practice. We still need to find, to find a balance between theory and practice. We should gradually move into a more action research model and we need to articulate reflective practice more smoothly into the teaching learning process. It is uh, stated in the documents but we have not got to the point of making that a real fact. We should incorporate then trainees experiences in the, as learners, as language learners, as f future professionals in this reflective practice. We should incorporate the use of technology more coherently. The uh, pandemic has shown the need of using technology in all our processes. And we should incorporate more topics on global issues and sustainable development for students' research. In general terms, these are the ideas that I want to share with the audience on the development of research skills in our English language teacher education program. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I want to thank uh, 
IATEFO for the opportunity of presenting in this IATEFO research thick. So I thank the, the research thick uh, for this opportunity and also the British Council for allowing me for supporting my participation in this online event.